All right. Good morning. So I'll begin by finding a comfortable seated posture. And let your eyes drift closed. Take a few breaths to see where your breath is in your body this morning. And as you connect to your breath, you're going to find the ocean sound by constricting the back of your throat. With each exhale, let your body settle a little more. So now you can feel your scalp and it relaxes, and your forehead and it relaxes. your eyes and they relax. Relax the muscles around your face and your jaw. Feel the base of your skull. The back of your neck. Relax your shoulders. Breath begin below your navel and inflate your belly, your ribs, your upper chest, all the way up to your collarbone. And as you breathe out, collapse your upper chest, ribs, then belly. Feel as if you're drawing the breath in through your tailbone and filling up your whole body. At the top of your breath, pause briefly. And let the exhale be natural. One more full breath in and then breathe out long and slow. Stay relaxed. At the bottom of your breath, you can open your eyes. Good morning. Bring your right hand up and bring your index finger and the middle finger into the palm of your hand for alternate nostril breathing. Seal off your right nostril, breathe in through your left. Seal your left nostril off with your ring finger and breathe out through the right top of your breath. Keep the breath continuous. Don't pause at the top or the bottom. Inhale through your right nostril.
At the top of your breath, transition to exhale out through the left nostril. Go at your own pace, in through the left. Seal it off with your ring finger, exhale out through the right. In through the right nostril. Seal it off with your thumb and breathe out through your left nostril. A few more rounds at your own pace. Keep the breath soft and relaxed without strain. causes you any tension or is not right for you for some this morning for some reason go back to your normal ocean sounding inhalation exhalation belly breath the lengthening and deepening of your exhale will relax your body more and more with each breath We'll all be breathing all day, but if you have time later today to breathe consciously, you may try to take a walk or sit quietly and count your breaths, as many as you can. I do a breath meditation every day where I try to count to, or I count to 108 breaths or more. I know that it takes me about 100 and 45 breaths to breathe for a half an hour. Next time you make your way over to your left nostril, let this be your last. Let your hands return down to your lap and sit quietly and feel the effects of this morning, Tanya. Eyes open. Hmm. Straighten your legs out in front of you. Come into staff pose. And sit up nice and tall. Lift your ribs, your chest, and shoulders up. Backs of your knees drop towards the floor and squeeze your toes back towards your body. And you have the arms up overhead. And exhale, round forward, hands to knees, shins, ankles, or toes. Be kind to yourself. The whole purpose of this practice this morning is to feel your body. Notice your breath. Watch your thoughts. Good. Inhale, come back and bring your left knee with you. Wrap your arms around the front of your knee. Come into sage pose. Set up tall. Push the sole of your right foot towards your camera. Lift the sole of your left foot up and cross over your right leg. Slide your hands behind your hips or out to the side and roll over onto the outside of your right hip and draw the inside of your left knee 
towards the floor and turn to look over your left shoulder. Press into your right arm to increase the opening in your right side. Be kind. This opens the small intestine line and gallbladder, meridian. Better than coffee, wake you up for sure. Good, inhale back to the center. Lift your knee up off the floor. Take your right hand and grab the outside of your left foot. Straighten your left leg. Or make a little basket if the left leg doesn't straighten. Squeeze the toes back towards your body and lift your ribs up like you're gonna hook your bottom rib on top of your kneecap. One more breath here. Keep your legs straight, let your hands come away from your leg and slowly lower your leg down. When it lands, bring the right heel Toward your body into sage pose on the other side. Find a full hug around the front of your right knee so your ribs can walk up your thigh. Close your eyes, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. As you inflate the belly against your right thigh, feel the opening that it creates in your back and hips and glute. Continue to connect to the ocean sounding breath. Send the prana, the scrubbing bubbles of prana all throughout your body wherever it's needed. Wherever energy is blocked or stagnated or not moving the way that it freely can. Hug your right foot up off the floor, cross over your left leg. Hands drop down to your side so that you can roll onto the outside of your left hip, draw the inside of your right knee gradually towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch. It may never, it's okay. And press into your left arm. Turn and look over your right shoulder. I always say it's like you're posing for a 1920s beach picture. But as I see myself on camera, this is not a good look for me. That's all right. A couple more breaths. Be patient. Wait for the mud to settle in your body. You're feeling the mud now. The gravel in the mud, the sensation that we feel. Let it settle and release and come back. Hug your right foot up off the floor, reach for it with the outside of your left hand, straighten your left leg or place both hands underneath your right leg. Lift your ribs up. Push the right heel towards the camera, the, your sole of your foot away from the camera. And then release your hands away from your right foot. And slowly let the right foot come down to the floor, back to staff pose. Close your eyes. Hands rest lightly in your lap. Chest is soft, shoulders open. Find your way to the table. The creases in your wrists point are in alignment with the top of your mat. Start from a place where you're in neutral spine, so not in cow, but in neutral spine. And begin to make a little circle your hips. Start small, depending on what you feel in your body this morning, you may choose to make the circle a little bigger as the body begins to open, 
taking time to circle in both directions. You may even find yourself drawing your hips all the way back towards your heels and all the way forward as if you're doing a push up on your knees. Back to table. Straighten your right leg up behind you. Press into your palms. Sweep your right leg behind you and all the way over to the left. Come down onto the ball of your right foot. Drop your right knee down to the floor so it tucks in. And then walk your knees into the middle of the mat and flare your feet out wide. Take a breath in. Hands stay right where they are. And exhale, slide your hips back towards your heels and reach your chest and ribs, nose towards your left knee. <sighs> Feel the relaxation in the back of your neck. The length in your spine. Good, inhale forward. Straighten the right leg behind you again. Bend your knee and pump the sole of your foot up towards the ceiling. Drop it to the knee, to the floor first, and then exhale, kick your leg up towards the ceiling. You do this about 10 times. Last one. Good, hold it up there, point your toes up towards the ceiling, reach, 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 reach. Good, and release back to table. <sighs> Straighten your left leg behind you. Squeeze some space in between your toes. And sweep your left leg all the way over to the right. Drop the left knee down to the floor so it tucks in next to the right knee. Walk your knees into the center of your mat and flare your feet out wide, as wide as you can. And then keep your hands again where they are. Exhale, slide your hips back towards your heels. The ribs move towards your right thigh and you can draw your nose towards your knee. The idea is lengthen in the spine, opening in the hips. Good, inhale forward. Sweep the left leg up behind you again and bend your knee. In 10 or 12 more pumps, inhale to the floor, exhale to the ceiling. Last one, hold it, point your toes up towards the ceiling, press into your palms. Good, and release. Wide your knees, slide back to child's pose. Walk your hands towards the top of the mat to find a long spine. Forehead can rest on a block, blanket, or on the floor. Then soften. Begin to slide your hands back in front of your knees and press your chest away from the floor. Tense your fingers and curl your toes under. Press up onto the balls of your feet. Widen your feet out a little bit. 
It's a little tricky. Nobody likes this in class either. Good. Drop your the sole of your left foot down onto the floor. Inhale through center and rotate so the sole of your right foot lands on the floor. Inhale through center and exhale, sole of your left foot lands on the floor. You go back and forth to the pace of your own breath. You find that your feet will get a little wider and you can use the inside of your elbows to press inside your thigh and inside your knee. The next time you go to one side, reach the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale back through center over to the other side and reach the opposite arm up towards the ceiling again. Good, and come back to the center. Walk your feet a little closer together so that the balls of your feet and the heels come together. Balls of your feet and heels come together. If you have blocks at home, you can use them or use a book or tense your fingers. If you find your balance, you can bring your hands up to your knees and straighten your spine. Inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together in front of the center of your chest. Straighten the spine even more. Ocean sounding breath, stay connected. Good, and release, tense your fingers, come back down onto your knees, back to table. Curl your toes under, shift your hips back towards your heels and press up to down dog. <sighs> Bend your right knee deeply, hold the left leg straight. You may feel your left heel release towards the floor or to touch the floor. And switch sides. Bend into the left knee, straighten the right leg. And straighten both legs. Inhale to plank. Hold plank. Drop your knees to the floor, wide them out, big toes touch, shift your hips back towards your heels, child's pose. Walk your hands, fingertips towards the top of the mat to lengthen your spine. Inhale forward, curl the toes under, exhale, press back to downward dog. Whichever foot you'd least like to step forward into lunge with, step that foot forward. Step the right, the back foot forward and hang in a forward bend. Knees may be slightly bent, still warming up. Everything hangs towards the floors. Ribs reach towards your thighs, the crown of your head towards the floor. Draw your fingers to the inside of your foot and the inside of your ankles and roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Hands slide up inside your legs, knees, thighs. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the palms together in front of the center of your chest. Inhale the hands down past your hips and sweep the arms up overhead. Lift and look up. Exhale the arms down to the side. Step your feet out a little wider. And begin to empty coast sleeve your arms from side to side.
We'll add breath to this. For those of you who haven't, haven't done this with me before, it's a forcible inhale through the nostrils and an exhale to the side. One, two, three. Good. Come back, get your feet under you, close your eyes, and wait for your body to recalibrate back into balance. Feel the soles of your feet. Connect to the soles of your feet. Breathe in and out through the soles of your feet. Open your eyes. Take your next breath in through the soles of your feet, all the way up to just below your navel, and then exhale from your navel out through the soles of your feet. Next breath comes in through the soles of your feet all the way up to the center of your chest. Stand tall, and exhale. Feel your body drain from your chest all the way out through the soles of your feet. Next breath fills your whole body through the soles of your feet. Pause briefly at the top of your breath and then exhale. Let your whole body drain slowly. We're going to do that whole sequence one more time. Soles of your feet to navel. Navel back down your legs out through the soles of your feet. Soles of your feet to the center of your chest. Center of your chest, all the way down your body and out through the soles of your feet. Last breath fills your whole body. Pause briefly at the top. And exhale, let your body slowly drain. Complete your exhale by exhaling all the air out of your lungs. Rest and feel. Mountain pose. Crown of your head lifts towards the ceiling, chin lifts to the horizon. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down to the side. Again, inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down to the side. Again, inhale the arms up overhead and pause with the arms up overhead. Then take a breath in. You're going to do another round of pranayama. So breathe in through your fingertips and your palms. Forcible inhale through your nostrils. Exhale out through your mouth. And then draw your elbows down and bang your ribs into your side. This stimulates the vagus nerve. Go at your own pace. I can't see anyone. One, two, Three, close your eyes, arms down to the side, rest and feel. Woo! Feel the soles of your feet, especially if you feel a little dizzy. If you need to sit down, do so. Focus on your feet. Your hands to your hips. And step your feet out wide on your mat. 
Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Lock out your elbows. Take a breath in and hinge from your hips. Reach your pinkies towards the ceiling. Draw your shoulder blades together. Open your chest, open your throat. Mm. Reach your knuckles towards the ceiling. Good, in release, tense your fingers on the floor underneath your shoulders. Halfway up with a flat back. Extend the crown of your head towards me. Tense your right hand underneath your chin, slide your left hand back to your hip, roll your left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand to the floor, right hand slides back to the right hip, roll your right shoulder open and extend the right arm up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. I can see some of you, beautiful camera angles. Good, exhale, release. Left hand back to your left hip, roll the left shoulder open, extend the left arm up towards the ceiling. Experiment with the weight in the soles of your feet, drawing the weight toward the inside of your feet, towards the outside of your feet, towards your toes, back towards your heels. Move the prana. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Inhale, right hand back through the hip and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, both hands to the floor. Walk your feet a little closer together. Spread your arms out wide like airplane wings with a flat back. And come up to standing. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, the palms to the center of your chest. Step your feet back together. Close your eyes. Hmm. And inhale the hands down past your hips, sweep the arms up overhead. Palms come together, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Walk your feet together so your knees brush each other, ankles brush each other. You can be a little wider at balancing. It's challenging this morning. And then bend into your knees. Shift your weight back towards your heels. Thunderbolt. Hmm. Take one more breath in. Keep your knees bent. Exhale your belly to your thighs. Drop your head and your arms towards the floor. And slowly straighten the legs. Fingers may hang towards the floor or tent on the floor or blocks. Or alternatively, you can slide your palms underneath the balls of your feet. Sliding the palms underneath the balls of your feet. Don't force it. It's a wonderful way to open the thoracic spine. This is really important for the function of our vagus nerve, phrenic nerve. Good release and roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale the arms up overhead from the top of your mat. Exhale, dive forward, tense your fingers. Find your way back to downward dog. Mm. Let's 
Spread your fingers nice and wide. Palms press firmly into the floor. Squeeze your armpits like you're holding on to grapefruits underneath your armpits. Belly expands with your breath and draws in as you breathe out. Inhale to plank. Walk your feet a little close together. You can chaturanga into upward dog or alternatively drop your knees to the floor. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling, squeeze your elbows in towards your ribs and load up nose brushes against the mat and slide your chest and your chin in between your thumbs and press forward into upward dog. Your knees can be on the floor or you can press the tops of, feet of your feet into the mat and lift your knees off the floor. Look up. Take a breath in, and then when you breathe out, stick your tongue out and breathe out like a lion. Squeeze all of the air out of your lungs one more time. Back to downward dog. Child's pose. Any version of child's pose that feels right for your body at this time. Mm. Bend your elbows, rest your forehead on your wrists or your forearms. Good. Inhale back to table. Bring your hands back to your hips. Press your chest away from the floor. Widen your knees out a little bit so you have a nice firm base. And step your right foot forward. Curl your back foot under. So feel like you've got a good grip with both of your feet. Then shift your weight forward a little bit. So let your hips come a little bit forward so you can press your back leg away from the floor. Slide your thumbs up your back, arms out to the side. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, reach your ribs towards your right thigh. Inhale the arms forward like you're reaching, sweeping water back into the ocean, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, the arms out to the side. Same thing. Inhale, drag your fingers across the floor towards the top of the mat. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, the arms down to the side. One more time. We're going to hold at the top. Good. Turn your palms up, thumbs up. Hands to your hips. Step forward. Inhale the arms up overhead, palms to the center of your chest. Rest here. Hmm. Take a moment and with your eyes closed as you stand here to feel where you are in this posture flow. It's a warm posture flow. So somewhere between effort and surrender, we're experiencing this. And whenever possible, bring ourselves back to witnessing what we're experiencing. 
concentrating on the connection to the breath, observing the sensation in the body. Without having in mind that I'm trying to work my body out. It's going to happen on its own. Inhale the hands down past your hips, sweep the arms up overhead, lift and look up, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Dive forward, find your way back to downward dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. <sighs> Inhale to plank. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Good. Release your knees, or if you'd like to chat around that through and meet us in child's pose, you're welcome to do that. Hmm. Inhale back to table. Wide your knees out a little bit so that your knees are the outside edge of your knees are just a little bit wider than the outside of your hips. And bring your hands up to your hips. Step your left foot forward. Curl your back foot under. Press your back, lean forward, press your back leg away from the floor. Slide your thumbs up your side ribs and arms out to the side. Straight back leg. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, ribs to thigh. Drag your fingers across the floor towards the front of the room. As you breathe in, arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down to the side again. Two more. Last one. Hold. Thumbs up. Straight spine, straight back leg. Extend out through your fingertips. Spread your fingers as wide as you can. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the hands to your hips. Step forward. Sweep the arms up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale the palms to the center of your chest. Hmm. From the top of your mat, inhale, hands down past your hips, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, back to downward dog. Sweep the right leg up behind you. Look forward, step the right foot forward. Extend the left arm to the front of the room. Hold here, straight back leg. Inhale the left arm up, come up to warrior two. Straight spine. Your right knee on top of your right ankle. Relax your shoulders. If you look forward towards off the inside of your right shoulder, you should see your middle finger, same if you look behind you. 
Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your hips, straighten your front leg. Good. Artificially separate your shoulder blades like you're going to touch your elbows together in front of your body and then drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Hinge to the left hip and begin to drop your right elbow towards your right knee. Modify a triangle and turn and look over your left shoulder. Back to warrior two. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, the arms down to the side. Another breath in, windmill to lunge. Back to plank. Downward dog. Plank one more time. Eight point pose or chaturanga. Upward dog. Curl your toes under. Exhale back to downward dog. Child's pose. Or any variation of child's pose. You can come into Vajrasana. Inhale forward, exhale up to downward dog. Extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees, step the left foot forward. Reach your right arm forward, long through the right side. Draw yourself up to warrior two. Hmm. Close your eyes. Find your balance and your stillness within. Inhale, the arms up overhead as you straighten your left leg. Exhale, your hands to your hips. Puff your elbows towards the front. Hinge into your left hip. Drop your left elbow towards your left knee. Modify triangle. Turn and look over your right shoulder. Keep length through your sides, length in the spine. Straight left leg. Back to warrior two. Bend into the left knee. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the arms down to the side. Another breath in. Windmill the arms down to lunge. Step back to plank. Last downward dog. Ah. <sighs> Inhale to plank. Feet together, legs together, knees together. Zip your pelvis up towards your chin. Shift your weight forward into your palms. Draw your elbows underneath your ribs and slowly lower yourself down to your hover, hover plank, hover. And then let your whole body touch the floor at the same time as you come down. Cactus arms. Left ear on the floor, slide your right knee up into half frog. <sighs> Cooling down.
you have the space, some of you as an option may choose to extend the right leg straight at a 90 degree angle from your body and roll the front of your right hip flexor towards the floor. Press your pelvis into the floor. Take one more breath in, inflate your belly, and exhale, bend back into the right knee. Straighten your right leg, switch ears, switch knees. Slide your left knee up into half frog. I could take the option to straighten your left leg out to the side. I'm doing my right, but if you'd like to take the option to straighten your left leg out to the side, you can do that now. If your left leg is straight, keep pushing the sole of your left foot away from your body. You're relaxing in your inner thigh, inside your knee. Back of your glute. You can slowly bend the left leg and straighten it again. Hmm. Take a moment to roll to your right side and onto your back. Hug your knees and your chest. Interlace your fingers. Reconnect your belly breath, your ocean sounding belly breath. And rock from side to side. Drop your feet to the floor with your knees bent. For those of you who are familiar with plow, you may choose to come into plow at this time. The rest of us will cross our right foot in front of the left thigh. Bring your arms out to the side. Take a breath in and roll onto the outside of your left hip so the sole of your right foot lands on the floor. One final Gentle hip opener before we rest. Inhale back to the center. Switch sides. Roll onto the outside of your right hip. Turn and look to the left. Let your body soften, let everything cool to the floor. The word prana time, which is the name of our yoga teacher training, means the awakening of prana and its infinite intelligence. It knows exactly where to go in the body and in what quantities and when. When I resist that flow, it's when I have struggles. Good. Release back onto your back. Drop your left foot down to the floor. Hands return to your side. Palms up. Keep your arms relaxed by your side. 
Take time to straighten your left leg out onto the floor. And then your right. Take a moment to wiggle your body into being settled. Close your eyes. Have a short Shavasana. Scan your body from head to toe. Relax your forehead, your eyes, your face and jaw. Let your teeth separate. Your lips separate slightly. Soften through the back of your head, throat, top of your shoulders. Relax your arms. Breathe softly. Feel the sense of relaxation washing over your ribs and down your spine. Into your sacrum and hips and pelvis. Feel the prana moving down your legs, past your knees, down your shins, into the soles of your feet and toes. In this virtual yoga, these few minutes of Shavasana, where we integrate all of the energies from our practice. So resist the urge to jump up and start your day. Take a few minutes here for the scrubbing bubbles of prana to do their amazing work. Let the frayed ends of our nervous system be repaired. Let our busy minds be quiet. Let our inflamed bodies cool. Let our brokenness become whole again. You have the curiosity to feel whatever you feel without needing an explanation for it. Without wanting more of it or less of it. Simply the experiencer and the thing that's being experienced. Moving closer and closer together. I am the experiencer and you are the thing I am experiencing as we all are for each other.
in this moment of collective reality and collective consciousness as one thing, one experience. Begin to take a bigger breath in. And when you're ready to move your body, you can bend your knees and bring your feet back under you. Begin to rock your hips gently and your knees from side to side with your feet on the floor. Eventually roll over to your right side, rest in the fetal position for a moment before you sit up. And as you're ready, make your way back to a seated posture. Close your eyes. Bring your palms together in front of the center of your chest. Soft and easy in this posture of easy pose, sukhasana or half lotus or lotus, wherever you are. This practice guide us from the unreal to the real, from the darkness to the light, from death-based consciousness, body-bound consciousness, to our divine nature that we all are. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you for practicing this morning. Hmm. Beth, you want to unmute everybody? Say hi. Thank you. Want to come over? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. you hang around for a couple minutes if you guys want. Thank okay. you. You got Henry in Florida. Leslie's in Florida. Hi. Wow. Look at all these people. <laughs> Awesome. Hello. Hey, How are you guys doing? Good. Hi. Thank you for wow. practicing this. Did this morning. work? Is this working? Yes. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thank what did you feel? Anybody want to share anything? It was great. Awesome. Yeah. Calmness. Pam Davis from Connecticut. All right. I felt like I was right in class with everybody. Thank you. Yeah. So I did too. Yeah. yeah it was, but was it warm for you? Because it was really warm for me. It was a hot practice. Was it hot for you? Yes. Yes. No? And I keep my yes. What'd you say, Allison? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Thank you. Weird. The energy moves in its own ways. So um, stay tuned. We're, I apologize for all the emails, but we're trying to figure out you know, a live schedule and the, the, uh, the launch of the subscription hive and um, some more details on that. Well, I think we're moving towards, we're going to have like a, a, a big uh, town hall thing where we'll be live like this and we'll explain it to everybody. Uh, but we're in the process of talking to our teachers. We've already got, um, I'd say after we probably got 20 hours of yoga classes already taped over the last week. So um, that you guys have, don't haven't seen yet, but if you, for those of you who've already told us to turn your membership back on, um, you'll be getting access to that this week. So we're we're feverishly working away. Um, does anybody have any questions about anything? It's hard to respond to the to the text if anybody has a question in the Henry. text. Henry, Henry got a question? Somebody? Unmute yourself though, Henry. Henry, you're muted. He's figuring it out. <laughs> anybody else have now, a question? I'm there so my question? My question is this. How did we all get so blessed to have two beautiful people like you in our lives make this possible for us. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. This is a big question for all of you. We don't feel whole or complete without you guys, so it works both ways. So we love you guys. Love you too. Love you too, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank everybody else. This is so we're creating a whole new um, all of us <laughs> together. Like this is a new it's like a new paradigm for, <laughs> boy, I, I hope you guys will come back to the building when we're able to open it. <laughs> for sure. Definitely need the building. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we miss you. I know. You want a great job. Your faces. You know, I'm really hearing on, I don't know what you guys are watching and stuff on the news. Uh, oh. well, I'm not watching too much, but. You know, this whole idea of if everybody just sat still for two weeks and didn't do anything that... Yeah. The, the best Baker just we, said shelter in place starting all, at noon tomorrow. Yeah. I'm also hearing, uh, but not proffering any medical advice of any way, shape, or form, but um, don't drink cold liquids. Everything hot, you should take a sip of something really hot every 20 minutes or so. I've started just today, I can drink, I, we ran out of ginger tea, so I started making my own just slicing the ginger and putting it in hot water and just drinking that as my tea. That's much better actually than the ginger tea bags. Right. And, uh, the ginger. The, um, yeah. Hot drink too. I, I hadn't heard that. Say that again, Jane. Um, I was just, I hadn't heard about having a sip of something hot and I was just curious, what does that do? Well, um, what I, uh, this came from Devarshi Stephen Hartman, who's a, who's the Dean of Kripalu. He's the Dean of the Frontan School of Yoga. And it basically, it, um, if we do get exposed to the bug, it gets it into our digestive system. So it can, um, the acids in our stomach can eat it. Apparently. But, but, but just generally, I always opt for warm liquids anyway, most of the time, because it stimulates digestion. Okay. Cold liquids are, uh, you want a warm for digestion the best uh, circulation is a warm belly and a cool head so anything we can do to help our digestive system which is working 24 hours a day is good and warm um, things do that it's less toll in the yeah. digestive tract yeah that's what chen chen means less toll in it yeah so we have to give our digestive system a rest thank you yeah anybody else have a question or want to share anything I just want to say thank you because I'm so far away and I never get to see you. I know. But I do now. I, are you in Florida, Leslie? I am. I was asking last time I was there. I'm like, why can't you do online courses? And I, I'm afraid. I'm sorry that we had to have a pandemic for me to get that, but I'm very, very happy that this is happening. Well, where are you in Florida? I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Where are you, Henry? Naples. Naples. Just across the highway. Cross the Alligator Alley. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys. So stay tuned and we'll. Um, anybody else have anything they want to? Beverly? Yes. 
Beverly, unmute, unmute your um, computer. Still can't hear you. There you go. Here I am. Um, how, how, I didn't get only you on my screen. It was lovely to see everyone. Well, yeah, if you, <laughs> if, if you um, use your mouse right now. Yeah. Just, let's just, just, you can do it to yourself. And you okay. drag your mouse to the upper right hand portion of the screen where there's three dots. Yep. And you, and you click, single click that. And then you'll have the option to pin that. Um, I see. Okay, got it. it. Yeah, and then you can get uh, just, just you. Okay, great. I mean, it's wonderful to see everyone. It, was, it is. It's just so amazing. Colleen, Charles, I haven't seen you for. That's great to see you. Awesome. Hi, Allison. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Uh, miss wow. you guys. I know. We <laughs> miss each other. We're, we're together, though. That's the key. This energy will do it. Yeah, right. it really helps. Awesome. Beautiful release. Thank, you, so much for doing this. <laughs> Thank you, Mike and Beth. You guys are the best. Oh, you guys. You guys are you guys. Awesome. Beautiful day. You too. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right, you guys. Bye. 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 Have a great day. You too. That was earlier. Okay. I was there. Okay. Okay. Is this still taping? Yeah. <laughs> Are you able to cut? Sorry, I forgot to cancel. So uh, next time, right? You're going to end it right away before the chat. Yeah. Because yeah. now I'm going to have to go in there.